morning, amigos. Dr. Doug here at GoBodyTrust.com. Here's a little article from Live Well, Nebraska, a uh, state I was born in, although I've lived in L.A. all my life. It says, um, <laughs> paleo and veganism have given birth to paganism. But is it any good for you? While Americans are still in varying states of awareness about the keto, paleo, and Whole30 diets, along comes another new eating regimen labeled Pegan, P-G-A-N. This hybrid of paleo and vegan was introduced uh, in 2014 in a blog post by another diet book author who wrote a diet book, and he's rich and famous now, um, telling you what to eat. And what not to eat. God, it never stops, does it? It never stops in this country. Americans and Brits are um, have no common sense when it comes to eating, and certainly no self-esteem, no self-trust. I had to go. You have to go outside of uh, the United States and Britain to find any common sense. Here's a study, a Brazilian study. It says um, it's from Sao Paulo, University of Sao Paulo. Animal experiments have shown that calorie restriction causes cellular changes that can prevent diseases. And this is the this is the essence, this is what they're saying. This is the essence of all diets. It's not about eating the right foods and not eating the wrong foods. It's about restricting your calories. So all diets, if they're gonna make you lose weight, they're gonna restrict calories. And they're not telling you that. They're saying these are the good foods and those are the un those are the not good foods. Those are the unhealthy foods. So it's a lie. All these diets are based on a lie. That there's good foods and bad foods. Um, and that and also that you need nutrition. You have to eat, you have to be careful what you eat, otherwise um, you won't have nutrition, you won't get nutrition. Eighty percent of Americans are overweight and obese and dying from excess nutrition. I love this. It says um they did studies in Sao Paulo, they did studies on, uh, on animals, of course, and they found that a lot of brain diseases are prevented by restricting your calories, by eating less food. So Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, epilepsy, and strokes, cardiovascular accidents, all these are prevented by eating less calories. Well, how do you want to eat less calories? Do you want to trust yourself? Because your body knows. It counts calories. Do you want to trust yourself and develop your own self-esteem and your own self-trust and strengthen yourself mentally? Or do you want to just do what other people tell you to do? Um, instead of reading another diet book, I recommend you to read um, Fear of Food, Why Americans, oh, A History of Why Americans uh, Worry About What They Eat. What an eye opener! It goes back a hundred years, more than a hundred years, about uh, diet fads, food fads, and food scares, and, and terror of not having enough nutrition, and eating the wrong foods, and then eating miracle foods. Oh my God! It goes on and on. So we're really infected with this in this country. Anyway, anyway, there you go with your keto diet. And your, your uh, paleo diet, whatever other regimen that some other diet book author has you following, don't do it. Eat less food. Eat without distractions, because that way you can tell when your body says no. Your body says stop if you're listening, but you have to listen. You have to trust yourself. That's the key. Well, that's all for today, amigos. Have a great day. Hasta mañana.